Hi everybody and welcome back into Wolf's Tavern. I am your host Wolf of Retro and Wolf, also associated with Geek News Now. Be sure to check out those links down below in the, des the description. And so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and go into our recipe for today, which is a chili with chocolate. So first off, we're going to have one pound of beef that we're going to brown. We're going to brown that with half of a medium onion chopped along with one clove of garlic. We're going to be using three total, but we're just going to use one at the start. We have one whole can of 28 ounce diced tomatoes, a 15 ounce can of kidney beans. I like the light red over the dark red, but whichever one you prefer. We also have two tablespoons of chili powder, one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. You can also use unsweetened baking chocolate if you want. We have some a half teaspoon of hot pepper sauce. We have one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we have our meat, onion, and garlic all mixed together. We're gonna put that into what we have as an instant pot, but if you have a slow cooker, you can use that as well. We are going to be using the slow cooker function. And then after we have all of this in here, then we're going to be adding in other ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna add those other two cloves of garlic into here. And then we're also going to add in our big can of diced tomatoes. You're not gonna drain this at all. All the liquid, everything goes in there. Then we're gonna add our one can of beans. We're gonna add our chili powder and we're going to add our chocolate. So then once we have all of those ingredients in here, we're going to stir them all together and then we're going to put this into the slow cooker mode for five to six hours. Okay, so that we've already had this in for about four hours, we're gonna open this up real fast and then we're going to add in our last bit of the ingredients. That is the salt, the pepper, cumin as well as that hot sauce and then we're just gonna mix it and let it be in for that last bit of time okay guys so then our chili is all done ready to be eaten and I'm gonna go and enjoy this I hope you guys enjoy this as well and until next time I'm Wolf from Retro and Wolf we'll see you later bye